say, man, what it do, gang? Hey, man, what's good, though? What's good with you guys, man? It's your boy, man. I'm back again with another sneaker review video uh, today. Uh, actually, if you stay to this entire video, we have a special announcement at the end of this video. Um, we will be um, doing something special for you subscribers, for the people who watch my video. And uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. Watch the entire video, all I got to say. But let's get straight to it, man. So today, we're going to be reviewing the uh, Jordan 7 uh, Ray Allen PEs. Um, this is this is a shoe I think uh, a lot of people probably was waiting for it to be released for a while. I think we wanted PEs about a long time ago, um, like around the Mike Bibby PE uh, series. When Mike Bibby used to have on all type of shoes. Again, Ray Allen started having all type of shoes. Uh, when we see him playing for the Celtics, this particular shoe is from when Ray Allen played for the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. So, um, I mean, to me, it was a it was a dope silhouette. I mean, it's a dope silhouette. The sevens are, and um, I thought it was going to be a dope colorway. Um, when I got them, I didn't like this right here, like the green. I wish it was just like black. Um, but other than that, I think this is a dope shoe. Um, yeah, I mean, let me know how what you guys think about the Jordan 7 Ray Allen P's. Uh, as you can see, we got the 23 on the back. This is the purple gold with the, uh, I mean, it's the, it's the Bucks colorway. The Bucks entire colorway. Uh, I got these, uh, I'm not sure where I got these. I think they got these from all go. Or I, I might have went in Shoe Palace and got these. But I've been sitting on these for a while. And, um, yeah, so, these are your Ray Allen Jordan 7 P's. All right, we're going to move along. Um, I got a few special shoes. I don't like that. And we're back. We're back. Um, but, yeah, like I was saying, I got a few uh, special. I want to say special, but, uh. I got a special pair of shoes that I will, will we will be reviewing, uh, doing an in-depth review, and I got my um, yeah. You will see it once once I get to them. But next we have the Jordan. I mean, I'm sorry. We have the Air Max One SE Windbreaker colorway. Um, I know these originally sold out on the Nike website, um, sneakers app. I mean. And I know Shoe Palace had did another um, another release on these. Uh, I'm not sure. If, I'm not gonna say it was a shock release, but I think they did it like two days after the Air Max actually sold out on sneakers. But uh, basically, uh, this is this is a dope shoe, man. Um, I right now I have this shoe up for sale on my uh, sneakers Instagram uh, page. Uh, I personally really like this shoe. I just don't know if I can pull it off. You know what I'm saying? Like certain shoes, certain people can pull off. Um, like you have like your, your strong purple going around on the, the bottom, on uh, the bottom sole. Then you have your, you know, your green. Then you have like this, um, some type of like this bright pink with the yellow goldish, uh, background. I mean, this is a, this is a dope shoe, man. Um, I think resale value is looking pretty good on these as well. Uh, so when I copped them, I copped them just to see if I would like them. Um, and if I liked them, I was going to keep them. But if I didn't, I was going to get rid of them. But once I got them in hand, I was like, mm, I don't too much like them. Uh, so, you know what I'm saying? We're going we're gonna to actually get rid of these. going to try to sell these. Um, I might hold on to them until SneakerCon LA. Uh, that'll be the next sticker con I go to. And if you haven't watched my sticker con Bay Area video, make sure you pause this video, go watch it, make sure you like that video, and make sure you like this video, and make sure uh, you know you subscribe to your book because we're gonna have the heat coming all 2019. Um, but yeah, let's continue, man. Like I said, this is the rim break colorway. Give you guys a little nice little in depth view of this shoe. Um, this is this is a dope colorway that Nike put together. It kind of remind me of like. Then Martin, um, if you guys seen the show Martin, like that type of vibe, uh, that old school, 
authentic uh, type of vibe. And I think Nike, the reason they call it the rim breaking colorway, I think Nike um, has like a, a, a throwback windbreaker from back in the day with the big old Nike on the back. And I think Martin actually had wore uh, uh, that windbreaker, if I'm not mistaken, or Will Smith and Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. One or the other had wore that windbreaker in a, uh, one of the, the uh, episodes. But uh, like I said, if, if I'm incorrect, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong in the comments. But let me know what y'all think about this shoe. Man. I think it's a dope colorway. Uh, it's just not for me. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm getting, I'm going I'm to sell these, get rid of these. Uh, these are dead stock. The, uh, the Jordan 7, the PE Rayanas are also dead stock. So, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys follow uh, follow my sneaker Instagram. It's JDKicks underscore underscore with a Z, not an S. You know what I'm saying? I will have that below. Uh, make sure you guys go follow that. Check that out. Uh, I will be having more heat, more heat coming in. You know what I'm saying? About, I think I have some really nice heat by next week on there. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned, man. But now we're going to go to our next pair of shoes, uh, which are the Yeezy 350s. Um, these are the, uh, oh, these are the Lundmarks. This is the Lundmark colorway. Um, I ended up getting these off the go out. I think I got them for cheaper than what they were going for. I think I paid $250. Somewhere around that, somewhere around that mark. Um, but they were close to resale. I mean, they were close to um, retail. So I was just like, let me grab them. The stock might go up on them. Uh, I do not plan to wear these shoes. Uh, I plan to just resell these uh, and probably get me another color, a different color. Uh, because right now, the only Yeezys, 350s I want are the black ones that came out. I want the uh, the the highlight the lime green highlighter ones, um, and then the other ones I think that I actually tried to get were like back in the day like the turtle doves, and then the first the first V ones I think they were like black all black with the red writing on the side. But enough of that. These are the Lundmark Yeezy three fifties. Uh, I mean. Be honest, it's a dope, it's a nice looking shoe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the shoe strings are reflective, but these are the non-reflective models. Um, the shoe itself is freaking amazing. Uh, I just, I don't know, I just like this style because I feel like you can do so much with this. Uh, you can dress this up. You can dress this down. Uh, you can rock with jeans. You can rock this with some shorts, with some no-show socks. Um... Man, you can do so much with these. Um, it's a dope shoe. It's a dope shoe. And I think Yeezy is finally understanding, you know, what the people want a little bit. Um, even though, you know, Kanye has his little issues and everything. But I think Yeezy is really understanding, you know, what's going on in the sneaker world. Uh, they're giving us the colors we want. Unlike what Jordan is doing. Jordan just coming out with these weird backstories to their ones which you know people love the silhouette of the Jordan ones oh yeah I got some Jordan ones that's coming in this week too but um but yeah like I said this is and this is this, this is a dope shoe uh most likely I'm going to sell these right now I'm listing them at 300 uh just because I know the market for these eventually is going to go up uh right now I think the market is at like 280 if I'm not mistaken um something like that but the market is eventually going to go up, man, and people are going to eventually want these, and when, once the market go up, people, it's going to be all she wrote for these Yeezys, now, and, and I must say, the market is high for Yeezy 350s, the, the market is not so high for the Yeezy 700s, uh, I think the colorways are kind of throwing people off, but who am I, I'm just saying, uh, but these are the Yeezy Lundmark 350s, and... Our next shoe is the bread, the butter, the entree, the dessert, all that. Oops, my fault. And these are your SP Gina Air Jordan 1s, man. Uh, first, let me just give a backstory to this. 
Uh, SP Gina, she's originally from the Bay Area. She's a school teacher. Uh, she loves her Jordans. And Shoe Palace and Jordan decided to do a collab for with her uh, where they came out with these SP Gina 1 Jordans. So, um, what's dope is I think more people like the lunchbox itself. The shoes are in the lunchbox. So, people like the lunchbox itself more than they like the shoes. But I think the whole design of the shoes is dope. Uh, and I also, at SneakerCon Bay Area, I got SP Gina to sign the box. Um, so, yeah, these these are like, I guess you could say they're collectibles item. Uh, they're not in my size. They're in a size nine and a half. It was the only size I can get my hands on. Uh, weird story was I went into the Shoe Palace outlet store, and I saw them in the window, and I was telling my girlfriend, like, I think those are the SP Genas. <laughs> Excuse me. And we was looking, and then I went on StockX. I was like, Man, that look like the same shoe. So I asked the people there, and they was like, oh, yeah, we have a few sizes, you know, in the back. Uh, we know uh, people had, we did, did a raffle on them, and people didn't come and get their shoes. So the ones that they didn't come and get, they sent them off to the um, to the outlet store. And that was insane to me. That was crazy. So I decided to just pick up a 9.5 because they didn't have a size 11, 11.5, 11 or 12. So I said, give me a 9.5. Um, I am going to try to sell these. Uh, when and where I don't know. I know these are probably going for like six hundred dollars uh, at the moment with the signature probably going for about seven hundred seven fifty um, I pay retail for these Which I feel like was a steal, but uh, let's get into the shoe So like I said, this is a sh this is a lunchbox um, And the way you open the box is a little bit weird, but you will get the hang of it so as you open the box, you have, you know what I'm saying, this nice little lunchbox feel vibe. And you have this paper here. They still smell like Jordan 1s. You, know? you can never can never get enough of the smell of Jordan 1s. But here we have it, man. We have the SP Gina Jordan 1s. Hi, man. These are a, a beautiful shoe. Uh, you have like your glitter going around it. Uh, you also have the apple, which she's a teacher, so you know teachers love their the apples, the meaning for that. And then you have the SP on the back. You got the Jordan symbol on the apple. Um, you got the the red sole. So, so man, like to be honest, this this is a this, I mean this is a dope shoe. Um, the red sole is is kind of like that's so dope to me. Uh, kind of like a red bottom vibe. Uh, I don't I don't know if that was the reason for it. But like I said, this is the shoe, as you can see. Make sure y'all get a good view. The shoe. And the material is, it's like, it's like shiny material. But this is like a different, this is like black and this is like silver. Uh, this is black, this is black. And then you have your silver here. So I, I think the whole concept of the shoe is, man, it's just, it's dope. Like. And then the the story behind the shoe makes it a dope a dope uh, storyline as well. Um, and I'm, I mean, let me know how you guys feel about the SP Gina ones. I know a lot of people when I had them at SneakerCon, a lot of people were like, "Huh? What are those? I've never heard of those." And then they look up, they look on StockX and be like, "Whoa, they're going for like six hundred dollars and seven hundred bucks." And then with the signature on it, you know, they go for even more. But, um, but yeah, man, I mean, those are the four shoes that we're going to review today. Uh, like I said, all these shoes, well, three of them on sale. And the special announcement for this video is these right here. I will be doing a giveaway for the Jordan 7 Ray Allen P's. Um, I'm going to give, give it away to a lucky uh, subscriber. Um, I, I even put it on my Instagram. But uh, what I wanted to do, uh, I just wanted to give back, you know what I'm saying? My birthday is coming up this Thursday. And I was like, you know, I've been through a lot this year so far. And to have an opportunity where I can just be like, you know what? Let me bless someone with these. Um, you know, kind of made me feel good on the inside. Uh, like I said, the, the raffle is up. And I'm going to show you guys basically what to do and how you guys can submit your name into the raffle. So basically what you do is... Uh, you go, let me set this up, let me set this up, let 
All right, so basically what you do is you go to my Instagram page, uh, and basically what you do is you click the link in my bio. When you click the link in my bio, it brings up, um, it brings you to this page where you have to basically do these action items. So if you comment on my, if you comment on my blog on this blog post, and then it wants you to click there where it says find post here. You click there takes you to my blog and you can come in on any one of these um, these blog posts you want and once you come in on it or well, and you can also subscribe to my you know my blog page and once you come in on it man um, you know what I'm saying you go back and you hit this and you put what name did you come in under you put your name there then the next thing you do is you go just hit this visit my Instagram page it takes you there Boom, boom, bam, 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 bam. You know, you go there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, but once you visit the Instagram page, you go here. It's going to tell you to fill out your name, your email, your date of birth, um, and notify me of other competitions that I do. Or it's not a competition. It's more like a, a raffle or a giveaway, as you want to say. But they call it a competition. And once you do that, then you can go here. You can go to my Twitter. Bam. Hit that, take you directly to Twitter. Or oh, I think it'll take you directly to Twitter. Maybe not. Okay, we're gonna make sure it takes you directly to Twitter. But you go here and then you can connect your Twitter account or you can actually, you know, tweet and then you have to log in and everything. I'm not logged in on my Twitter. But basically what you do is you'll basically uh, you'll tweet me, letting me know that, hey, you just entered uh, into the contest. And once you did that, you go back, and then it's going to, it says, we will not post without your permission, I already tweeted. You can hit already tweeted and put your username. Um, and then after that, you can just go subscribe to my gaming channel. You can have to log in, of course. Um, and once you log in, you hit follow. And once you hit follow, you just go back, and then you will have this answer a question will unlock. So the answer to the question is the it gives you the most entries. Uh, basically, it gives you I think twenty or twenty five entries I selected it to give you, and all you have to do is complete two of these action items to get to that point. And once you complete that, then your name will be submitted. How many times or how many numbers you complete? That's how many times your name will be submitted. So uh, so yeah, remember guys, man, this will be this will be for. Um, these Jordan 7s. This is what you are doing the uh, the giveaway. This is what I'm doing the giveaway on. This is what you're doing the submissions for. This is a size 12. Typically, uh, if you don't wear a size 12, you can probably get this as a Christmas gift to someone. Wear a size 12. Or you can just resell these on StockX. I have the resale value right here or right here on the video. I think they're reselling for like 150, 160, 165, somewhere around there. So, you know what I'm saying? Basically, I'm giving I'm giving you guys $150 or getting a free pair of Jordans, you know. However you want to put it. But, uh, but like I said, man, it's something that I want to do. It's something I've been thinking about doing. And I just want to give back to you guys, man. I appreciate the love and support. And like I said, we're coming to 2019 with all bangers, man. And make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment below. Just let me know how your day was today. You know what I'm saying? Today is Sunday. This video will be up tomorrow or tonight. I may just go ahead and put it up tonight. Because I want to get the content out. <laughs> Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, man, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at jdonaldson901. Follow my shoe Instagram where I will be reselling shoes. Uh, I will have some steals coming through, like some shoes that I'll get. And I just want to get up off of them quick. I'll be selling shoes from, you know, $60. Who regular price probably is $120. You know, who knows? You know, I might just just give away to somebody who come in on the picture one day. You know, who knows? But... Man, peace, love, and happiness, man. I appreciate y'all, man. You uh, mean make sure you guys uh, like, subscribe, yes, of and it. turn post notifications on so you can know when I post, people. And, uh, man, I'm out, man. Appreciate it. Yeah.